Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was Name the movement started by Basavana in the Lions of Bhakti movement. And the movement's name is Sharana movement, which is closely related with Lingayatism. So that is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day, which among the following is are included in the basic structure doctrine of constitution of India? 1. Independence of judiciary. 2. The parliamentary system of government. 3. The principle of free and fair elections. So select the correct answer using the cards given below. Option A, 1 and 2 only. Option B, 2 and 3 only. Option C, 3 only. And option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, the correct answer here is it is option D. 1, 2, or 3, all the above are part of basic structure of Constitution of India. Since the adoption of Constitution of India, debates have started regarding the power of Parliament to amend key provisions of Constitution of India. And in the early years of independence, Supreme Court considered absolute power to Parliament in amending the Constitution. However, later, the Constitutional Bench in Keshavananda Bharati case ruled that Parliament could amend any part of the Constitution so long as it did not alter or amend the basic structure or essential features of constitution. However, the court did not define the term basic structure and only listed a few principles like federalism, secularism and democracy as being its part. And the basic structure doctrine has been hence since been interpreted to include the supremacy of constitution, rule of law, Independence of the Judiciary, Doctrine of Separation of Powers, Sovereign Democratic Republic, the Parliamentary System of Government, and the Principle of Free and Fair Elections, Welfare State, etc. Many additions are there. And recently, the 47th anniversary of Keshavananda Bharati case, which pronounced the Basic Structure Doctrine, was held recently. So that was in news. We will now move to second question. Second question is with reference to hydrogen fuel, consider the following statement. Statement 1. Hydrogen fuel is a zero emission fuel burned with oxygen. Statement 2. It can be used in fuel cells or internal combustion engines. And statement 3. The only byproduct or emission that results from the usage of hydrogen fuel is water. So which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, option B 2 and 3 only. Option C, 2 only and option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, all the above statements here are correct. So, our answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Guys, as we all know, hydrogen is the lightest and first element on the periodic table. Since the weight of hydrogen is lesser than air, it rises in the atmosphere and is therefore rarely found in its pure form H2. And at standard temperature and pressure, hydrogen is non-toxic, non-metallic, orderless, tasteless, colorless and highly combustible diatomic gas and uh, hydrogen fuel is a zero emission fuel burned with oxygen. It can be used in fuel cells or internal combustion engines. It is also used as a fuel for spacecraft propulsion and uh, hydrogen can be stored physically as either as gas or a liquid. And the storage of hydrogen as a gas typically requires high pressure tanks and storage of hydrogen as liquid requires cryogenic temperatures. And then hydrogen as a fuel has long been presented as an almost magical solution to air pollution crisis. The only byproduct or emission that results from usage of hydrogen fuel is water which making the fuel 100% clean. However, there are limitations for this fuel. It does not occur in deposits or reserves like fossil fuel. It needs to be actually produced using chemical reactions. And hydrogen using renewables is far more expensive to produce. And hydrogen fueled vehicles are also more expensive than even battery electric ones. It is highly flammable and uh, it is difficult to store also. So that are the limitations of hydrogen using as a fuel. And uh, recently the NTPC Limited, India's largest power producer, a PSU under uh, Ministry of Power, has invited global expression of interest to provide 10 hydrogen fuel cell based electric buses 
and an equal number of hydrogen fuel cell based electric cars in leh and delhi so the move to produce hydrogen fuel cell based vehicle is first of its kind project in the country so that was in news recently that's why this question is asked we'll now move to last question for the day last question for the day is pitch black 2020 recently seen in the news is a option a air combat training exercise by australia option b health protection scheme by new zealand option c india us naval exercise and option d gravitational waves mission by japan guys the correct answer here is it is option a pitch black is an air combat training exercise by australia which india is also participating it is a biennial three-week multilateral air combat training exercise hosted by royal australian air force and last edition was held in 2018 and this year's exercise australia has informed india that pitch black 2020 which is scheduled to be held from 27 july to 14th august has been cancelled due to covid 19 and the next edition will be held in 2022 and guys of today's quiz question is what is the name of bilateral maritime exercise between indian navy and australian navy name of the bilateral maritime exercise between india and australia so please post your answers in the comment section and uh, please post your calls also in the comment section we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions thank you for watching